This relational database is something that we saw earlier. We saw an example of how tables act as unit of a database schema and how we can create relation between them using primary key and foreign key. So a relational database is a type of database that stores and provides access to data points. These data points are the data within the table and that are related to one another. Again, a relational database is a type of database that stores and provides access to database points that are related to one another. Now, but you must think that why this, you know, relational database or RD relational database yeah, or, or this why RDBMS thing, it was, you know, created. Every company can, you know, store the data in their own form and they can have their own rules. Some might not have primary key. They can call it unique key, primary key, main key, parameter key. They can have different names. There can or cannot be a concept of foreign keys. To put out standardization, this relational database was created so that every organization follows same standards, same rules to create this kind of relational database and when they are trying to interact with each other, there are no issues. So this relational database was basically created to create a standard form of six. We can create a database schema and we have a concept of primary key and foreign key and two tables can connect or create a relation with other tables by having their primary key saved as foreign key. Wait. Yeah. So this is how you know this table is connected and these five tables together they create a database schema. Now we are going to talk about a new topic called as normalization. So this normalization you can also call you can also say that these are rules of the relational database. So this normalization is like rules of database which every organization follows. Now we will understand this in a better way. Now just concentrate on this table and you will be able to see that we have few columns like toy id we have toy name like toy id represents the id toy name says that what is the name of the toy it's teddy bear it's lego set it's doll it's action figure or it's puzzle then we have like a category it's a plush toy it's a building toy it's fashion it's action or education then we have a price then we have stock quantity how much stock we have for each toy then we have supplier IDs then we have supplier name and supplier location so this toy ID toy name category price and stock quantity are attributes related to you know toy itself but supplier ID supplier name and supplier location they are attributes related to a supplier and if you will also notice you cannot have a primary key in this table like if a toy id is one and the supplier is abc toys again the supplier is abc toys and the supplier id is 101 but we have two different toy ids so the suppliers they do not have a primary key but they need a primary key to have like how many suppliers do we have 
So it seems like we need a different table for this. So we did normalization and we created two different tables. The table one is for toys and then table two is for supplier ID. And if you will notice that this primary key is a foreign key in this table. So now both of these tables are connected to each other. Okay. So yeah, this was all about normalization. So normalization does basic rules and regulations that you know uh, companies or organization have to follow to have a proper relational database. But we will understand it more. It's not just these rules. There are many multiple rules in normalization but we'll just understand few of them. Another rule in normalization is like another categories of rules in normalization are each table should contain a each table cell should contain a single value entity but what does that mean like for example here in the supplier location Uh, I'm so new to this tool, so apologize. Yeah. Hmm. So now, for example, here we have city A. We cannot have more than one data in a table cell. So this is a table cell, okay? And we cannot have more than one data. Like we cannot have city A city B, city C or city D in just, you know, one table cell. Each table cell should have just one data, just one value. This is atomicity. Then each cell in the table contains a single piece of data. Same thing. Like as price column contains only prices. Like each column should only represent one data like you cannot have price and stock quantity as one column no you can only create one column for one type of data and the third rule is each column should have same data type like over here it's a number 101 you cannot have alphanumeric or you know just numeric no you can only have same type of data like over here if you'll see we have all numbers we do not have a b c d here this passes the rule we have text here we do not have numbers we have text here we do not have numbers this is alphanumeric we have symbol and numbers this is numeric, this is numeric and this is only characters, this is again characters. So, this is also one of the rules that it should have same data type. Each column should have a unique name. So, within the table like toy ID, toy name, we cannot have one more toy name or one more toy ID. We cannot have that. So, each column should have unique column name. So these are just the few rules of normalization that we just went through. So we understand what exactly is a relational database. Relational database is nothing but a database schema contains tables and each table is made up of rows and columns. When these tables are connected amongst each other because of a relation using primary key and foreign key concepts, here we create a relational database. 
this re relational database is created all over the universe using few standards and rules just to attain just to attain normalization so because of presence of normalization we have relational database all over the world in same form like the concept of primary key foreign key and the different rules that we studied is same 